Wake up, people. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a conspiracy realist. It's like every time I turn on my TV, there's somebody in another lockdown TV drama, and that somebody isn't me. I mean, are you even sending me up for these things? Hi, Laura. It's Gwen. I'm your midwife. I'm sorry we have to do this on Zoom. The hospital is saying they don't want to risk a spike in infections. Yeah, also, I spoke to my mate uh, Lee, you know, from Holby City, and uh, he's doing all kinds of voiceover work. Now, he says it's because he can do accents, right? So, you know, listen, so what I've done is I've written a little thing uh, that you can send around to producers that, you know, showcases my vocal talents. Okay, so it's set in a, a prisoner of war camp, Germany, 1942. I've heard you're not having contractions yet. Oh, you are? Right. Um, okay, so we'll see if you're dilated. Yeah, just lower the camera down a bit, will you? A little bit more. That's it. I can see it in all its glory. Hello, Jockey. Can you gather the escape committee together? OK, bones on the problem. Shall we be meeting after our tea? Oh, Laura, we're not going to be long. I can see the baby's head. It's crowning. Oh, don't bother with an ambulance. It won't get here in time. You'll have to do this yourself. Duchy, shall we meet over by your bunk? Seems like a safe plan. Oh, we might need some stooges to make sure Jerry doesn't burst in on Ash. Oh, I'm sorry about the pain, love. You don't have any gas in her, do you? No, we'll just maybe bite on the pillow and turn down the volume a bit on your iPad. I am at the moment trying to blackmail one of the, oh, how you say, goons for a long piece of rope. And now let's have another look at baby. OK, now listen, Laura, I don't want to alarm you, but baby's head has popped out. Right. The next plan is to build a tunnel. Who's got any experience? Oh, no, 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 don't scream. It's actually very good news. All you need to do now is pull the rest of the baby out. Back in Mexico, I be lots of tunnels. I work on the roads for American Gringo Company. Oh, I know you're not a gymnast, Laura, but you'll have to find a way. You may be standing up is better. Hey, Bonzo, can we just cut the crap and get on with the tunnel? OK, and reach down. And mind your head, keep pulling. Where will the tunnel begin? In the Russian quarters, we have a sewer that is this wide. And keep pulling, Laura. No, the scream is not helping. Yes, of course I know all these countries were in POW camps. Just try not to be so literal and go with it, right? As a zookeeper for the past 22 years, yeah, I was appalled when I heard the news that a zoo in Germany had been closed for so long due to the COVID crisis that it had to resort to feeding some of the animals to the other animals. It's absolutely disgusting. And I can assure you, that we have not had to do that. With thanks to an initiative with the Hertfordshire Police. Now, I know that some of you will be familiar with the graffiti of uh, Paul Kenyon, yeah? whose uh, work has uh, blighted many a building in the Luton area. Well, we won't be seeing Paul or his spray can in the area again, which is gonna make a lot of people very happy. As happy as Baloo, our Siberian tiger. Now can you get coronavirus from a phone mast? Now this is the latest conspiracy theory being suppressed by the mass media. Now as a scientist with a degree from the University of Shetland, honours, I'm taking this very, very seriously indeed. Oh, I know that some of you have been concerned about uh, Pawpaw, our boa constrictor, and how he'd survive without access to his, uh, to his normal diet. Well, I can assure you, he is absolutely fine. Uh, other news, um, Vince Morrison, a uh, habitual joyrider who has uh, caused a lot of annoyance to uh, many motorists uh, in and around Bishop Storford, seems to have disappeared from the area. A 97-year-old relative with diabetes, emphysema, and chronic pneumonia contracted COVID-19 in her care home. Her care home was very near a 5G phone mast. Coincidence? I don't think so, Mr. Gove. So I know it's been a difficult time, but there has been some good news. Neil Bostock, who I know some of you will remember as a gobby little shite who used to come to the zoo and throw stones at the hyenas. Well. Put it this way, the hyenas have had the last laugh. Personally, I think the government's inability to see that this lockdown is ruining the economy for all of us is, quite frankly, criminal. 
they're supposed to govern for all of us, not just those who elected them. So they won't be getting a tick in their box from me next time. No, I know I'm not actually registered to vote, but well, it's about the principle, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Don't worry. This lockdown is stressful enough without things going wrong in the house. So let's see if Jeff can fix it for you. It's wonderful that things are getting back to normal, but we have to keep that testing, testing, testing going. So now we have Neil. And... Uh, Neil says that he's got some dodgy electrics in the bathroom. Oh, man, electrics in the bathroom. Dangerous stuff, Neil. You've got to be careful there. Okay, so let's have a look at Neil then. Uh, oh, <laughs> is, that a, is that a Chelsea shirt, is it, Neil? Yeah, yeah, so dodgy electrics in the bathroom's not the only problem you've got, eh? <laughs> so, I have devised a very simple testing kit. No, 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 QPR, mate, yeah, proper grassroots team, yeah. Yeah, you know, we don't have Russian billionaires coming in to buy our success, mate. So, as you can see here, you have a thermometer. Very easy to just... Pop in your mouth, come, sir. Um, this, this, this particular thermometer can also be used under the arm and, uh, and indeed rectally. Um, probably wouldn't advise the latter just with this configuration, but... Um, there you go. So what's your problem again, Neil? It is dodgy electrics in the bathroom. Well, why don't you get your Russian billionaire friend to come round and sort it out for you? <laughs> now we have the spoon here too, obviously to test your taste skills. Um, this can be whipped out whenever you like. If you fancy a yogurt, I don't know, or a bowl of soup, whatever you like really, you have your handy spoon here. Uh, all held together by the onion, which goes without saying, tests your, you've got it, sense of smell. And I'm fine. So how easy was that? Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. you want to have a go with you, Neil? Do you want to have a go? Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Go on, give it your best shot, eh? <laughs> you slag. It's extremely portable, too. Look, this is why I call it my tasting necklace. So it's just a very simple and effective way of... of keeping yourself fit and hopefully everyone around you. We ain't Chelsea and we ain't Chelsea, we ain't Chelsea. Oh, and I just want to warn any uh, any copycats out there that this, this design is actually patent pending, so all you rip-off merchants can just go somewhere else. Well, my good friend David Icke is uh, always, constantly thinking outside of the box and he, uh, he always gets castigated for it. I mean, just last week he was uh, referred to as uh, mad as a box of frogs. Well, let me tell you this. I've met many frogs in my lifetime and I've only ever found them to be witty, articulate and wise. Okay, now no need to panic, Laura, but baby's got her umbilical cord around her neck. Oh no, don't worry, it's very common. You just need to remove it. Achtung! German officer is in the room. Silence! Think of it as unwinding a string of tripolatas. Okay, and unwind. What are you doing here with your pencils and your drawing paper? Now, can you drag yourself into the kitchen and find the kitchen scissors? It looks very much to me like you are planning a tunnel. Just give us a little snip and tie a knot. <coughs> Yay! You've done it! Oh, congratulations! A beautiful baby girl! So what do you think? Now, the next part's a little harder to explain, so can you pick up your iPad? Thank you. I need you to Google delivering a placenta. I see the future with smiles and laughing. To be honest, everyone is dancing about around the Mulberry Bush, romancing the stone, partying like it's 1999. In my humble opinion, we'll never have it so good and uh, let all the acquaintance be forgot, me all the China, because we all join it together, feel the force, the force is with you, obli D, obla da, life goes on, Obi-Wan Kenobi. What's I gonna tell you? It's a bloody life, innit?